All right, what's up guys? It is Josh back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be following up on the last video that I posted on the channel. And that's actually how you can actually add your own subtitles to your own YouTube videos. I figured that it would be a good follow up and I should just post it because subtitles are a major component of content editing and being able to do them is a valuable asset. So I'm going to be actually showing you guys how you can do that in Adobe After Effects today. Quick before I actually get into it though, I just want to say about 70% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet. So make sure to drop a sub. It is 100% for you guys to do. And you can change your mind at a later date but with that being said i hope you guys do enjoy and i'll see you guys on my pc all right guys so i'm in adobe after effects and what i'm going to be doing is i'm just going to be quickly showing you something so for example i'm just going to get an intro that i already have made from one of my videos and then what we're going to do is i'm just going to quickly show you how you can actually add subtitles to it all right so for example i'm just going to drag in this intro that i have for my transitions video right here all right guys what is up it is josh we're going to change the format to quarter just like this. What is up? It is Josh back with another video. Video today. We're gonna let this actually going to kind of render out of it. Back with another. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fit it to scale. With another video in today's. And today's we'll let this right, be guys, what is up? Right it is Josh back. All right. So all we gotta do now is we're just going to add markers to the main words. All right, guys. What? So for example, we got all right, all right guys. guys. What is up? What is up? It is. It is Josh. Dude, it, it is, is Josh, Josh, Josh back, with another back. back with another video. Back with another video in today's video. In today, with another, back with another, with another, right here with, with another, another, another video. video. Okay, so this is all I'm just going to be showing you, just a small portion right here. Uh, all we got to do is we're just going to add a text layer. And something I recommend is the font mont and I know that rhymes, but that's pretty much what it is. So it's going to be all right this is actually going to be the first line that we need. And I'm actually going to add a six point or a six pixel. So we're going to do this and we're going to change this. To, I don't even know. Like we'll do seven for this, for example, that seems clean enough. All right. So we just got our uh, basic font right here. What we can do is we can just make our stroke like a five point stroke if we want just so we could have this little like pink kind of thing all right guys what is up and we're just going to actually have this come in at this point so we'll do all right guys and we'll have it last pretty much till the end of this one right here all right guys what is up all right guys what is up and it goes into what is up so we're actually just going to cut it off right here and i'm going to add guys to this sentence so all right guys and i'm actually going to position it on the screen we'll bring it up a bit and let's do a bit of a rotation just like this. All right, guys, what is up? It is and what we're going to do is we're actually going to keyframe it on this point, this rotation. And then we're also going to keyframe the position here. And then we'll scale it down a tiny bit. And all we got to do at the very beginning is we're going to go back to our rotation. We're going to keyframe it at zero. And we're also going to keyframe. Let's do... Honestly, let's do a scale in to scale out. So we're going to do this. We're going to scale it down to 0%. And then on here, we're going to change it to 77. And then we'll keep it at 77 for a bit. We'll actually flip this rotation, which is a cool animation to have. And then we'll put the rotation down to 0. Right here, so it goes like this. Or we'll do like a... All right, guys, what is up? It is... All right, guys, what is up? We'll see what this looks like once we actually scale it back out. So let's change this back to zero. And the first graph I'm going to edit is the scale graph. And all we got to do for this one is it's pretty simple. You just do a graph like this. And then on this side, you do the exact opposite. There. All right, guys, what is up? It is all right, guys, what is So it just looks weird with the rotation right now. So we're actually going to clean that up a bit. Go to the graph after pressing F9, and we'll do this. You press Shift on your keyboard that way, it actually um, sticks to the axis. All right, guys, what is up? It is that does not look good at all. So honestly, what we'll do is I'm gonna make it like a smoothish one. All right, guys, what is? We'll bring this up right here. 
All right, guys, what is up? All right, guys, what is up? That's uh, that's that pretty much. That's a pretty good graph itself. And then if we wanted to right here, we'll what do. What is up? It is Josh. This is what is up? It is up? It is. It is Josh. So then right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another text layer. So we'll do. It is Josh, just like this. And this one, I'm actually going to show you. Shoot. Mess that one up. It is Josh. Not Josh. <laughs> what am I doing? And we're going to change the position to where we actually want it to be. Um, what is up? It is, it is Josh. And we'll actually have it right here. Position. What is up? It is. And then we'll have it. Honestly, we'll do a down. What is up? It is Josh. Back. And then we'll do this. Bring it back down. And then we'll graph it at these got to right click on this separate the dimensions and then since we only graphed the or edited these values it's going to be easy to just do this one up it is josh and bring that over josh back with another josh back with another and we'll add motion blur to this josh back with another and that's pretty much that. We'll add motion blur to this one too. All right, guys, what is up? It is Josh. Back. All right, guys, what is up? It is Josh. Back. All right, guys, what is up? It is Josh. Back with another video. And that's pretty much uh, the position kind of thing, as well as a little. Um, I don't even know how to describe it. Like a scale in. That's a pretty cool Josh, way to do it. Another video and today. And then obviously you could just do this, duplicate it, and do like back with another video. A couple effects you could do is like, for example, S underscore raise. And I know it's like super long, but you can just shorten the raise a bit and then turn the brightness down. And what that'll do is it'll add like a nice little glow effect to it. But yeah, that's pretty much how you can add subtitles for beginners. Super simple tutorial. Let me get or let me know down below what you guys want to see on the channel in the next uh, week or so. I'll be more than happy to do that. See you guys later. Peace out.